Hey besties, what's up SBM gang? I'm back with another tutorial and it's really no shade. Okay, so Amanda Hare sent me this bust down. They always send me bust downs. This is like their third bust down they done sent me. This time it's 613. So I said, let me play with some colors. Let's let's have a little fun, let's do a ponytail. So we done did a crazy look that I would have never done last year or even earlier this year because i'd be scared to try stuff so that's my new theme for this year let's try things that i know i wouldn't have tried last year so that's what we did with the look the final product so because i knew she wasn't going to keep this looking for too long i didn't use the tape i'm telling you if you only doing your look for t like a day two days even if it's just a week don't put that tape on because that tape is going to last two to three weeks okay and it's really no shade so we only did three layers of our active i didn't even use the lemon burst i used the active adhesive um just to show that they all work and they all work good are dried and clear emphasis on clear because some of y'all be laying y'all lace while it's still white that is not hot wait till your glue is dried clear and also apply it flat so it can dry clear fast there's no shade but yes apply that lace don't put it too far up don't put it too far back and just tie it down Razor combs are always the best option when cutting off lace. You can use scissors. Some people like to use scissors but for me every time I do it it don't matter how much I wiggle my wrist or zigzag the scissors it still be looking like I tapered fade the wig and it's not giving that ever so I'm just gonna always use my eyebrow razors get into this melt on this lace Amanda Harris did not place y'all know sometimes them 613 wigs be hard to plug be hard to melt but this one was very easy there was no struggle everything just went how it was supposed to go that's how you know you just got a good wig period the styling process for this type of updo is very, very easy. You just have to make it easy. I know last year when I would um, do ponytails and people would ask, I would always get so nervous. I would never know like, okay, how I'm going to melt it, which, which products I'm going to use to get the ponytail flat, how I'm going to add the hair to the ponytail. Don't, stop doing the most. Get you some got to be spray in a hot comb. Make sure that hair is flat in that ponytail. And then if you want a really full, like, ponytail look like how Eric and Tabby doing it do it how, do it just like this like literally wrap something around the top of the ponytail just so you don't have a bunch of glue all over the hair in case you want to wear the hair outside of the ponytail and just wrap the hair start from the top and work your way to the bottom and it's that simple just make sure your ponytail is in the center make sure everything's flat you use your hot comb you use your got to be spray and it's so i used to make these hairstyles so hard to do and even now I, I still got a lot of work to do on them as far as making them seamless and stuff just doing them makes it way more easier because when you overthink you just make it hard and then you just don't never grow so don't be like me and just do something you see something on instagram it's a cute hairstyle but you feel like you don't know how to do it just just go for it grab a home girl it's always gonna be a home girl and want a free hairstyle so just grab a home girl and practice like and that's where i'm at this year like anything i think i don't know how to do i'm gonna just practice and get over it like it's not